come on, tell me what's going on over here. So, all right. All this cathode anode, I don't even know what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you just repeat what you just told me because I think it's important. Galvanic corrosion. So with galvanic corrosion, you end up with an anode and a cathode, just like in a TV, old TV, you know, with the x-rays and all of that. So you have a, a negative and a positive section of the loop. And it happens due to different metals, a combination of different metals. I think it's worth it to, to explain what's going on here actually. We have a customer who gave us the computer to dismantle and to start on a completely new build. And this is actually what we just got. We just dismantled the entire thing. Yeah, we have all the parts there. Clean up, dismantled. And I was I was just looking at them and, and realized there was some sort of corrosion and then just straight away noticed what was going on here. So then could you just repeat what's going on here? All of those fins are almost completely clogged. This is almost, I would say, 80% blocked off. Now, you're all gonna ask why? Well, distilled water. So many, this argument has gone on since the beginning of liquid cooling. You know, I get a lot of people saying, just put distilled water in there. I don't trust any coolant. It's going to clog the loop. You know, people don't like, some people don't like coolants and dyes. It's, it's a lot of people these days still, you know, even after all of this time and all of this proof. But this is actually what happens if you just run distilled water in your loop and no coolant. So coolant doesn't just have biocides to stop the growth of algae and microbials. It has anti-corrosives. To prevent this so even with the mixture of metals which is pretty much almost unavoidable like what do we have in this loop okay we have nickel we have the nickel plating we have some exposed copper we have some brass we have the stainless steel that jet plate there is probably stainless steel it could be marine grade that's probably the best thing you can have in your loop like marine grade stainless is designed for boats uh, where you have you know Salt water and all of that. I would love to do some marine grade stainless steel parts. Like hey, that. I'm learning just like all your subscribers here and all your fans because I had no idea about this either. So I'm just learning like anyone else. And this definitely doesn't look good on as the first impression. I mean, this definitely going to affect performance. This, the the all the cooling capacity of this water block is just way down compared to just a standard normal one. Yeah, those fins are fully clogged on everything. And actually, we can't see how clogged the CPU water block is yet, but you can see the corrosion there. So, yeah, anyway, as I was saying, galvanic corrosion is... We have a lot of different metals here. Now, these metals are not that far apart. Check out the galvanic corrosion chart so that you know, like, how pure and impure metals are and how far apart they are. The further apart they are the more likely galvanic corrosion is to occur. The closer they are, the less likely it is to occur. But if you don't have corrosion inhibitors in your loop, if you're not using a high quality coolant, then the chances of, of corrosion are very, very high. So with galvanic corrosion, anode and cathode, negative and positive. Well, can you even see in there? Yeah, that's pretty bad. You end up with, with buildup in one area and corrosion in another. So it takes from one part, corrodes one part, and then it builds up in another part. But, yeah, I think this is probably not galvanic. It, it, it might be a little bit of galvanic. I think this is just corrosion, and then it's just built up in the fins, you know, because it's the obviously the tightest part. But grab an M4 Allen key. Let's have a look at the inside of this CPU water block, because this is going to really tell the biggest story here. Check this out. Because this has the tightest fin array. I think it's even 0.5 of a millimeter. I got it right. Actually, a fin array like this requires special manufacturing techniques because you can't mill. I think the smallest milling bit is like 0.5 of a mil. Obviously, because if it goes below that, even tungsten and carbide milling bits are just too fine and they, they obviously break. 
So if you want to go below like 0.5, I mean these days they probably have something that can that can do it like as a as a machining bit, but you need like a oh, what are those saws called? Those really thin saws. Do you know what they're called? Oh, unfortunately, I do not know. Ah, oh, man. Sorry, boss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's some cool name. I just it's just slipped my mind. But anyway, the other option is to to cast it, but you don't want to really do that with you know it costs a lot to set up and. This is copper here, we need performance. What would you recommend to use for all the people out there? You know, it's completely up to all, all of you. Everyone has their brands and, and their different things that they love. For me, I've used Mayhem since the beginning. I love Mayhems. Of course, now that I'm selling it, no one's gonna listen to me anymore. <laughs> well, what's the main component there? Do you know that? For any reason, specific reason? Actually, yeah, grab a bottle out of the cupboard. Let's have a look. It's, uh, I mean, obviously it's kind of a trade secret, but you'll be able to see on the bottle that there are corrosion inhibitors oh, yeah, this thing. and a biocide. Actually, any of them should have think. some sort of write-up. I believe the corrosion inhibitors are metals. Interestingly enough, they're actually... So it actually has deionized, deionized water. Yeah, but you know, this is the other thing that people don't realize about deionized water. If you drink it, it'll leach all of the minerals out of your body. Cool. Calcium, the whole lot. It could even kill you. Like it won't kill you fast, but what it means is that it, it attracts minerals. So it's corrosive. It's not like acid or something, but the first thing it's going to do when it comes in contact with minerals, minerals equals metals, all metals, is corrode, corrode the metal. It's it's a very it's quite a corrosive agent, distilled water. But you know, once the necessary yeah, it's mixed 250 milliliters of coolant with 750 milliliters of deionized water, or Mayhem's Ultra Pure H2O, basically deionized water. So it doesn't say anything about the ingredients, as far as I know. Yeah, obviously not. <laughs> That's there we of, go. It's a trade secret. All right. All right, hang on, before you pull off the jet plate, so by the way, that stainless steel bit here is, is called the jet plate. It directs the flow down onto the fin array into a very small area so that you have a, a lot of very rapid flow and the water, the fluid is really agitated. Yeah, you can see there's a lot of buildup around here. Let me get this off and see it a little bit better. This is all gonna need a good scrub with a hard scrubbing brush. And actually, some of the plating is probably going to come off. This is not as bad as I thought it would be. So you can see that's a 0.5 millimeter thin array. And this is the EK Supremacy, of course. Yeah, this is not as bad as I thought. I should put the macro lens on and give people a good look at it. But those fins are not clogged like they are on the GPUs. Look at the water here, though. Yeah, that's all the plating, just... Actually, that might be a little bit of out of the O-ring. The O-rings kind of have this oil s slick that, I don't know, they're, they're made, they must be like petroleum-based or something, I don't... But, but they seem to leach like a, a lubricant or oil. Okay, we're gonna dismantle these GPU water blocks to take a look at the thin arrays. There's one thing that I never like doing is dismantling GPU water blocks. I don't know what it is. Just breaking the warranty seal and that really long O-ring is always hard to get back into position. These installations actually look really recent. I mean, if you look at the bottom of that and if you look at the, the TIM, the thermal pads, they look brand new. I'd say this installation is no more than six months old but then look at the state of the inside of the water box. How does something like that happen that quickly? Well, that is due to distilled water. So you can see all through the loop is plating, just this white stuff here. And now we can have a good look at the fin array. Again, it's not actually as bad as it looked from the outside. They just always look worse under the acrylic for some reason. But let's take a look at the other one because the other one definitely looked a bit worse. 
So yeah, you know, the plating is pretty corroded. I mean, it's very, it's all the way through in some places, like just here, that's all the way through to the copper. Almost all the way through to the copper, all the way around here, through here, but it's certainly not the worst that we've seen. It's just seeing such a new water block, such a new installation, yet already so much corrosion. I mean, this is something that you might see in, well, I haven't seen in any of my systems in, in an eight year period. Okay, I've got, I've got components that are eight years old in my system that I haven't upgraded in all of that time and they still look almost like brand new. So this is something that is definitely avoidable with coolant. But let's get some close-ups. So if there's ever anything in your loop, little particles, bits of hair, I mean it's extremely important that your loop is absolutely spotless because we have places like this, this is a very small jet plate. You can see my fingernail there where the entire flow of the loop is focused into this tiny little area onto these fins and it has to flow through the fins and there's no other path for the flow. That's it. It's got to go through there. And once these clog, that's it. The entire loop is blocked. And this is not the worst of it. The CPU is obviously even smaller an even smaller area. So it's extremely important to have a perfectly clean loop.